what's up guys and welcome back to the doctor's office i am dr k ray knight here to give you the proper diagnosis and prognosis and everything comics and comic book characters now we all know that x-men 97 just came out last week two episodes they were amazing has a perfect score on rotten tomatoes with a 97 percent um audience score fucking amazing yes yes uh so for the next several weeks while x-men 97 is on everything around here is going to be very mutant centric uh so please be prepared um so i'm going to be giving you guys all kinds of different mutants i'm going to be giving you guys some uh, mutant storylines not necessarily krakoa but some storylines some really important storylines that have involved mutants uh over the years some iconic storylines um and just make sure that you're following blurred because um some articles are going to be there some specifically written by myself uh so anything that says dr k the anime bay is me <laughs> um and then of course just read any of the articles on there because they're all amazing and then make sure that you're also following k Worry's corner which is my movie review channel because i'm going to be removing uh reviewing the X-Men movies, the uh, original TV show, um, anything with some mutants in it, and giving you guys my full review of X-Men 97 when it's all said and done. So just make sure that you're keeping up with all of the things. Um, but you already know what this is, what this segment is right now, and it is comic book characters you may or may not know about. And today we are talking about one of Storm's children from a different earth, and her name is Chimera. So Chimera is from Earth 13729, and she attended uh, the Dr. or the Jean Grey School, which was basically the Charles Xavier School, just on this Earth. It's something else. Um, and she had battled with the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants as well as uh, Rays, um, who is also villainous mutant, um, on this Earth several times. And despite her heroism, she never actually got along with her mother. Weird. Now, after helping the present X-Men and the past X-Men defeat the Brotherhood of her time, she decided to stay in the present just in case any future attacks or anything happened there and she would be there to assist. And when the future did attack the Jean Grey school looking to kidnap uh, Shogo, or the child of Shogo. It's either Shogo or the child of Shogo. She reluctantly decided to assist based on how it played out in her timeline. And I'm sorry, it was the biological child of Shogo. However, truth be told, the reason she decided to stay in the past to begin with was because she was trying to uh, save her best friend, which was the Shogo from her time, from the grief that occurred with this particular event and i do believe that in this event in chimera's timeline uh shogo's biological child ended up dying so when the events happened in the past she did what she could to prevent that from happening at the end of the day she was still thinking about her best friend so it led her to killing one of the future's henchmen and this also um even though it altered the timeline, she still knew enough to use Shogo's blood to control Bloodline and save Jubilee. And, and she ended up leaving the school, but she promised to stay close and assist just in case Shogo was ever in danger again. She ended up going back to her own timeline where they went up against the Shire Empire and she was one of many who were on a ship that was destroyed by them and she ended up being killed. She did not really get along with the mother of with her mother in her own timeline. When she did go back to the past, she was able to sit down with Storm of that timeline and kind of talk to her to see what it is that she could do to kind of bond with her mother because again despite her being a hero she didn't really have a connection with storm of her time so her and storm of the past did bond and <laughs> she when she did decide to leave the school again um after all of the different disagreements that happened when it came to shogo and her killing one of the henchmen of the future um 
she left a note for Storm, basically, you know, saying thank you and goodbye. And it kind of sucks because she didn't really get the opportunity to try to bond with her mother of her time because she ended up being killed during the uh, Shire Empire's invasion. So there is kind of a disagreement on her powers because being the daughter of Storm, most of Storm's kids have her weather powers to an extent. So there are some who say that she does have her mother's weather powers on top of other powers that she does have, making her one of the most powerful mutants on her earth. But of course, Marvel has not confirmed or denied exactly what her powers are. And then of course, you can't really, you know, do too much because she's dead. Uh, however, what is 100% confirmed is that she has some kind of animal empathy or animal telepathy where she is able to communicate um, telepathically with animals. And of course, I know you've seen the pictures going through here. She always travels with a large black panther and they have uh, vibranium markings. So. It is also unconfirmed whether or not T'Challa is her father in this earth. However, walking around with a Black Panther with vibranium markings is a bit on the nose. So we're gonna go with the, the very high probability that T'Challa is her dad. On top of that, she is an expert tracker. She does have heightened senses because she is a hundred percent like because she even has the cat eyes so a hundred percent she is like partial black panther with the panther senses and then i would also agree that she does have uh, not only her mother's powers but her mother's level-headedness especially in the field so a lot of that is uh, not a hundred percent confirmed but it's very very obvious when you're reading the the books that she's so how are we feeling about this character i love this character i think chimera is really really cool i really wish that they would come to a consensus on exactly what her powers are and who her parentage is because the only thing we officially know is that she's storm's daughter and being storm's daughter basically automatically makes you incredibly powerful anyway but it's also like she has a subset of powers and she has her main powers but you don't know what her main powers are you just know what her subset of powers are so we don't really know if she's able to control you know do the weather controlling and everything like her mom i also don't like the fact that they didn't really give her a good relationship with storm because storm is very level-headed and when we look into any of her other children she does have relationships with them so for chimera to not really have one with her i think is really odd for her character especially because she has traits of storm being level-headed in the field being the voice of reason like you know what i'm saying so it's kind of weird to me that they have that strained relationship and that she the only piece of like healing she got from the strange strained relationship with her mother is for like her to go to a different earth different time and get that closure from a completely different storm you know what i mean so I don't know and then to kill her before she had the opportunity to try to build that relationship with her actual mother from her time i didn't like that either so i really kind of do hope that they do a little bit more like of course they bring mutants back all the time i feel like that would be very interesting if they wanted to put her in the main earth or put her in like another alternate earth where we can see her elsewhere i think that that would be great um but that is it for Miss Chimera. And again, make sure that you're following everything so that you are up to date with all of the mutant centric things. And stop back into the doctor's office anytime.